Welcome back everybody to another episode of Banished with me, Vapor, and we have a couple more updates. <laughs> and this stuff is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we first and foremost need to remove this one. Well, did not work? Is that a ghost object? Oh no. Ah, whoops. Let's try that one again. Let's put my status icons back. There we go. That's what happens when you're taking screenshots at the end of your last episode. And you forgot to put everything back as it should be. Um, and... Yeah, we'll remove this one as well. Because we have a little bit of a surprise. Now, I have not actually looked through everything that Carl Yug has added to this. And if I quickly look at my email, I'm not going to go through everything because he, uh, he wrote a little bit of War and Peace, but that just kind of uh, <laughs> that shows his passion for Colonial Charter, which is really good for, for us people that love Banished and Colonial Charter because having someone like him actually doing all this sort of stuff means it'll just keep going and going and going until he eventually does get bored of it. Um, so we've got a couple more um, versions of the wall. Just kind of uh, reading it in brief. Um, some more tulips. You can use the F key to rotate them. Um, some stuff I don't want to talk about. We'll show you in a minute. <laughs> what else have we got? God, man, he's, he's, he's put so much stuff. One of the most important things, actually, is... He's asked me if I can keep a list of um, the suggestions you guys are kind of coming up with, because... He does watch the episode, and I know he watched Sky Storm and um, Noble Rambler and Night Ghost. So, I mean, he is picking things up from what we say. But um, in any of our videos, whether it's, you know, myself or Nobles or Night Ghost or even Skies, I'll try and sift through the comments. It's a little bit harder on Skies because he does get an awful lot more comments uh, because he's obviously uh, quite a bit bigger than the rest of us. Uh, but I don't mind going through there as well. But yeah, if any suggestions for 1.7 this is, although they've not like 100% started it yet, um, they kind of need some some ideas to go on. And, and obviously these walls are going to be uh, included in it, although they're kind of in 1.6. Are they in 1.62 or no? You don't have access to. So they're in 1.6x, which I guess is the uh, is the the testing version at the moment. So I'm the uh, the crash test dummy, as it as it would be. Um, I have been warned it could um, ruin my save at some point, so <laughs> I have to be a little bit careful. Anyway, um, yeah. So listen, I'm not going to go through uh, the entire email, but needless to say, he's uh, he's batting for us, and he's coming up some fantastic stuff. But like I say, drop in the comments anything that you can think of that you'd like to see. Um, I do believe um, Red Ketchup is making a train. <laughs> it's not going to work. Um, I think it's more for the look. Right, let's. I think you kind of got a, a glimpse into what I was going to do there. I think took this one away. I might need to remove this side as well to fit it in. So remember, I was saying I needed um, a double arch. We have one with or without the portcullis. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to leave it open on this one. But on the other one, I'm going to have it as closed. Is there a portcullis on the little one? Oh my god, there is as well. <laughs> Fantastic, I love it. Oh my goodness. Right, we need to change this as well. What's really good is the fact that I'm playing a game <laughs> and if there's something that doesn't exist in the game, you can just get someone to make it for you. I mean, how brilliant is that? The amount of times games fr uh, can frustrate you. Right, how are we going to do this? We're going to go with a single here. I think I could do. Just because of my OCD, that square literally runs right into the middle. So, I think we will have a little one. I'll leave that one closed. And I've just removed all that wall, which I didn't need to do. Never mind. Because to me, this is more the main entrance. Because ships would come up here and people would come, you know, come through. Um, this is just like an entrance from the town. Even though the cat, I don't know. I mean, 
actually thinking about it, there is a castle in um, Cardiff and it's more of a keep I guess and it's kind of like in the corner here so I guess it doesn't really matter too much where the castle is as long as there is one um, in the email as well he did mention about having the uh, arrow slits and the little ledge so the concrete ledge where the people would walk on instead of me having it like this and potentially um, stone towers as well so I mean I think his list is growing probably a little bit quicker than he expected hence why he's asked uh, for ideas to be listed which I think is fine isn't it you know, I don't think any of us would mind doing that let me put this back together okay have we got the one over here built yet is this the open oh no we left that one open didn't we I feel like we should have it shut now <laughs> um, oh man we got so it shut just because he put it on there and I said it needed it it doesn't feel right okay well we have a bit of an issue here don't we remember the wall doesn't go across and it, it does look a little bit strange and in a sense it would leave this uh, area open to attack so what he's done I think it's is it this one no ah, it's this one Look at that. Oops, did I misclick? Hopefully this works. Because it's making some strange land. Oh, it might not work. He's not tested this, bearing in mind. Um, he makes it and then... I have a go. So it looks like potentially we've got a glitch. But that's a glitch with red ketchup stuff, isn't it? Let's see what happens once it builds. I don't think we've got all the pieces in there. And I don't think they're all straight. I think he likened that to something from Lord of the Rings. Now, to my shame, I have watched Lord of the Rings, but I couldn't tell you too much about it. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just the way it is. I think the land is going to come up, isn't it, underneath? Okay, we'll let, we'll let that build. But if he, if he can get that to work properly, that's going to be genius. See, he's not done it everywhere, has it? Maybe I can flatten it in a second. Seems like a minor glitch, doesn't it? Anyway, he was on about tulips. Where, where's the tulips? Is that one of the... Um... Uh, lavender. I'm guessing it's one of these. Unless I'm completely... Wrong. Flower beds, but well, these already rotate colours, don't they? So, so it's not going to be that. Find the ghost objects. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, oh, how pretty are those? As he said, he didn't think they'd work too well in the desert. Probably not, but I like those. Those are pretty. Well, even if in kind of the grassy kind of areas, like if we come. Where are we? All the way over here. Okay, not there. <laughs> See, the town has grown that much, I'm getting lost. I think we could get away with them in places like this. Maybe instead of the... Uh, instead of that actual wall. We might have to try that out. Did he put something in here as well? Was that... And oh, that was the trees. We already covered that one off, didn't we? So as you can see, he's definitely working very hard. Well, I'm really excited about the portcullis. That's <laughs> that's brilliant. What a legend he is. Okay. Um, oh yeah, we need to put this back in with the portcullis. This is going to be an episode about me talking about walls and things, isn't it? <laughs> it's a castle. We're building a castle. It has to have walls, so I'm going to have to talk about them. Right, let's put that in. Okay, looks like I've not put one there. It's rather bizarre. Let's rotate this. How it's kind of put ground in some places and not in others. I'm wondering if... Yeah, I thought you might have an issue with that. Hmm. I wonder... If we remove... I've got to be careful where I do this because it's going to take the down wall away, isn't it? Oh no, it's a, st ah, it's a ghost object, so this shouldn't affect the wall, right? 
famous last words. Well, let's remove them. Speed the game up a little bit. Because I don't want to spend like 20 minutes just talking about walls. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you for the suggestions of this as well. Um, I didn't know the, the basic, the consensus was if I was going to put a wall, it needs to be a brick one. Um, but it, it was said that it, it wouldn't look right. Which, I guess maybe not. You know, I, I like to think out loud. And not every idea that I'm, I'm going to come up with is going to be brilliant. I think it clashes a little bit too much. I guess the idea that I was thinking of was most canals you can like you know, walk and there's no kind of railing. I don't know, I just kind of had the idea that it would suit, but maybe not. Okay. So if I... Where's the... Uh, I don't use this tool very often, so... If I do this... I haven't got a clue if this is going to work. Right. So that's fine. So we need to remove those things. And then if we can put this canal back in. It might not let me though. I'm seeing a few reds. Mm. The question is, what's bothering it? It's the ground being too low, I think. Okay, what happens if we raise it a little bit? Okay, that's back to normal. Okay. Let's use this one, because it's a little bit easier, I think. I think that was the problem. We'll soon find out. Uh, canal. Whoops. Ooh, we don't want to use that one, do we? Okay, what's his problem now? Have I left? Yes. Numpty. <laughs> Canals. Oh, come on. Have I left one? What? Oh. oh, no, no, no. We don't want to do that. Cancel. Ah, uh, cancel. What's bothering it there, then? We can have an episode of me breaking things, I think. Oh, that's just... The red square of death. Mm. What's doing that? Let's remove this one. It might be that tree, you know. It's a... It's a quite a bit of a possibility. Terraform level, what's this one going to be? I wonder if you just put a little bit of land in. Will that make enough of a difference? Let's see. Oh, damn it. What the... Marking everything for removal all the time. Canals. And this one. And this one. Yeah. Not having much joy, are we? Don't think I'm going to focus on this too much because I don't want to spend the entire episode doing this. Actually, let's put this piece in because this one will remove anything if it's there. There we go. Right. Fingers crossed. So, canals. This one, this one, and I think it was just a normal piece we had in here. And then... Okay, that's worked. Maybe I do need to remove this one as well. Oh, goodness. Right, let's do some other... Let's do some pretty things while we're here. Um, I think it was suggested not to put houses on this side. Was I right in thinking that? I think well, that was a suggestion, not not to put anything, and have have it kind of a little kind of garden area that hides maybe the cannons and stuff, like a storage area. I could always put a little bit of a garden on the back of these and do the houses flipped and go in that way as well. 
But initially, I kind of thought of having a pub over here and literally garden areas, maybe a couple of houses. So I don't know. I'm a bit unsure about that now. Because I saw I don't know how you pronounce his name, I'm going to say this probably ridiculously wrong. Is it Peng or something? <laughs> something like that, anyway. And he does, um, he builds some really attractive, really attractive towns. And, um,. He's built some of these houses that are diagonal by using, I guess, the ones that are, are kind of corn. Um, is it corners? I'll have to have a look in a second. So I've not attempted it. Oh dear. Yeah, see, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn, that's going to cause me some grief, isn't it? I don't really want a pothole here. Um. Where's normal? Zero. Oh, it looks like I might have to remove that and start again. That's a pity. Okay. Fingers crossed. This is the last attempt within this episode to do this. Oh, sausages. What's that? Right, basically. There we go. Kralyug. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> I give up. I surrender. Oh, it's this one, isn't it? So I don't know what it's kind of picking up on now. Because there's literally nothing there. Will not let me build anything else though? What about a road? No. I wonder what it's picking up on. That's really odd, isn't it? I think I'll be saving this save <laughs> under a different file name just in case we can't get rid of that because I don't want it causing... Uh, any problems further down the line? Let's try one more time. Oh. Okay. Excitement. So what's the issue here? Is it because? Is it because of this? I'm hoping I'm not messing this up. This has gone from an extremely excited episode to me panicking that I've destroyed my town. Oh, fingers crossed for us. <laughs> really hope this is going to work. I'm guessing that was one of these. It might be the half piece. Oh no, it will be that one. Oh, bated breath. Right, I think on this side because we've got loads of room over here. We are going to put in a pub. I don't know if I want to put houses in or not. I'm still deliberating on that one. That's a brewery. I don't know if I should go with this one. I kind of like this building, but it's it's the stonework on it. It just doesn't fit in. It's a shame it doesn't kind of have the texture of that and it, and it would work. So, do I go with that? This one is huge, but... It might fit. What was the, this old building's in here somewhere, isn't they? I can't remember where they are now. Uh, old building. So what have we got? Shaw House, Winery, Bakery, Melting House and a Shipyard. Yeah, they're not going to be any use to us, really. What's that RK got? of these isn't it? Is this it? Is that a brewery or a tavern? You see that one would probably fit a little bit more but I don't like the shape of the building unless we could do a double tavern so I think if do we have it right on right at the front and have like the, the grounds behind it Right, let's see if I do this right. Am I thinking right? Let's see what happens there. I mean, you could do it as a four, so it'd be a huge building, but let's see what that looks like first. Some of these buildings are fairly nice, aren't they? This one might fit in quite well in the town. 
Yeah, I think he's designed them to go next to houses. Um, let's have a look. Houses, red ketchup. Where's the corner? Is it the corner one? Is that it? No. Yeah, I think he's designed it like to, to go alongside these. That is quite a nice house though, I've got to say. We could have it as an inn and um and uh it is an inn actually, isn't it? Oh, it's a tavern. An inn and a uh, little <laughs> try that again. An inn and a tavern. So these could be like the places where you stay if you're staying in the the tavern. So when you get extremely drunk. I'm hoping this is gonna look good. And the other side to it is we could I wonder if we can put them above here as well. Oh, we might have to knock these down and start again in a second. Let's have a look. Because if I can put these... Oh my goodness, I can. It doesn't quite look right in places. But then you'd, you'd have the other side. Right, okay, stop. Pause. <laughs> We're having some ideas here. Right, let's, let's take all that away. It's going to be a slightly longer episode than I planned originally. I, I think I'm going to go through all this and, and you're going to go, no, nope, don't like it. <laughs> I can see it. But, oh no, a fire. Oh dear, dear, dear. They've got a well here, so hopefully. Only worrying thing is, is when these buildings are so close together, it does have a tendency to uh, to spread. Okay, there goes upstairs. Something else is on fire. Is that all? Oh no, there we go. So next door burnt down a little bit. Ah, at least it was on only one fire, hey Noble? <laughs> I didn't get to. Damn, that stopped everyone doing what they were doing. We're actually running out of citizens. Uh, should I say labourers, free labourers. So we're probably going to have to build a few more houses. We definitely need a school over here. Because we're going to have no educated workers. And this is literally just a storage, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's put in the... Uh... This can go under here, can't it? Yeah. Just it'll make them walk a little bit quicker, I guess. I'm tempted to actually extend that fence right to the edge. Because with this underneath, they will walk really quick along there. If they don't do so already. So I might just put that right, I don't know. Oh, it's taking them so long. Come on, guys. <laughs> what? Oh, no, they're going to start on the blooming roads now. Why did I do that? Come on, get these out of the way. Thank you. Right. So. This one. So we need to leave one space there. One. So like that. Then we need the corner house. Which there is only one model of. I'm hoping I'm doing this right. Then, okay, there's only one model of that too. It's a little bit odd, isn't it? Doesn't look like it's going to line up correctly. What? Ooh. Alright, that's the different textures. I'm not sure I'm going to go all the way to the top. But let's let these build first because I don't want to start placing these things and it not look right. That looks like it's going to make the building a tad too wide. Or I've done something wrong. Which is quite possible. Oh, that looks brilliant, doesn't it? an extra large pub. 
Oh, that's, uh, that's the issue. We're not going to get that floor on. Okay, well, we might have to actually start again. <laughs> oh dear. Because it's going to leave a little bit of a gap, isn't it? I think it's to do with the rotation of the building. Ooh. Oh, and that's going to be too high, isn't it? Oh, no, this is just frustrating. Maybe if I get one of these built first. Hmm. Okay, so we got that house. So that one's built. I might be trying too hard to do something here. Yeah, that's just going to look really bizarre. How annoying is that? Although, could do that. That might look okay. Let's try it. Let's put, um, Oh. <laughs> Sugar. Oh dear, after all that, they actually produce it. They don't actually... Oh, God. That's my own fault, isn't it? It's probably one of these ones, isn't it? Bakery. Do you know what? I know what I'm going to do. And I'm probably going to do it off, off uh, camera. <laughs> after all that bloody stress um, I'm going to leave this episode here so until next time as always take care